This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update right here on TFNN. Looking forward to the uh, holiday tomorrow. Okay, we have the composite up about off about 0.6%. You have the Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.31%. You have the SPY off about 0.3%. And that dollar trading at 106.07 off about 0.76%. Crude futures completely flat right now at 68.75. You have the gold contract trading up about 0.6% at 2,662. You have copper uh, trading up 0.52%, $4.13. And then silver really got, uh, didn't do as well today, comparatively speaking. Uh, and you have the Russell finishing up 0.14%, 2,436. Rates coming down a little bit. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. Celsius trading up 2.79% at $28.37. Lucid not doing a whole lot. Uh, let's take a look at Rivian trading up 5.8%. We can almost get out of this, boys we can, and ladies. Almost get out of this. Uh, they got some good deal from Biden, basically, to start producing. You know, they, if the tariffs come on for vehicle manufacturing in China, uh, Rivian can actually be in an okay spot uh, since they're in normal, which is very good. Let me see here. I, get, I think it's about $6.6 billion. Um, yeah, for, oh, it's for a Georgia EV plant as well for $6.6 .6 billion as well. Uh, each adding 200,000 units of annual production capacity for a total of 400,000 units. Uh, that's pretty solid. Loan will create thousands of new American jobs. This company just keeps somehow figuring out how to get billions of dollars to burn through. And, uh, <laughs> like, it blows my mind. I mean, it's been, I mean, like I said, they're great cars. People like them quite a bit. Um, but it's, it's just they're not going to be profitable. Like they said that they were, or at least like they were projecting to be, Right. And then again, it, it really kind of messed me up when they're talking like we're, we're more of a of an operating system company. It's like, no, you guys are making vehicles. And, you know, hey, you have a solid support here at $10. That's really nice. Coming up, trying to test that like recent high at $13.21. Let's see if we can do it. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving, whether it's by yourself or with your family. Uh, we're not going to be on Friday, but there is a half day. The market closes at 1 p.m. We will see you Monday morning with Tommy O'Brien for the morning market kickoff. Take care.